वेलकम बैक टू मार्केट का ज्ञान इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल स्टार्ट विद वन ऑफ द वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट कॉन्सेप्ट्स डू यू नो व्हाट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट व्हेन यू एनालाइज एनी कंपनी इज इट पीएनएल इज इट बैलेंस शीट और इज इट कैश फ्लो यस यू गेस्ट इज राइट इट्स कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट इज बाय फार द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इन एन एनुअल रिपोर्ट knowing how to read cash flow statement is very critical to analyze any company a cash flow statement name suggest is a statement of cash inflow and cash outflow for any company during that period and at the end of that period it shows the cash po- cash position of the company the importance of cash flow statement is its ability to provide valuable insights into a company's liquidity and solvency which are very critical indicators of its financial ability and stability to meet its financial obligations the statement helps investors and analysts to understand how a company is generating and using its cash and can provide early warning signs of potential financial difficulties a cash flow statement mainly consists of three parts and the first part is cash from operating activities the second part is cash from investing activity and the third part is cash from financing financing activity so now let us briefly discuss what these individual three parts contains and what insights they offer for investors so cash from operating activities this section shows all cash the company is generating from its operations and normal business activities it answers the following questions of investors is the company profitable in terms of generating positive cash whether the company is generating cash or not in its business operations how robust its operating cash flow is whether it's volatile whether it's steady or is there any cyclicality to it how does the operating cash flow grow attractively over time so it also shows the trends of cash flow whether it is growing or not in comparison to the company's revenues the second is cash from investing activities the cash flow from investing activities shows the cash in hand cash in cash outflows from the investments the company is making it consists of three major parts first is capex m&a purchase and sale of securities it also answers how capital intensive the company is wherein you can guess what kind of capex the company is doing second it also answers is m&a a strategic part of the company whether the company is relying too much on m&a or what is how frequently the company is doing m&a in order to grow its business thirdly the company's investment in other securities so whether the company is investing excess amount in some other non related business or not the third part is cash from financing activities the cash flow from financing activity shows how much cash the company is needs to finance its business and it also shows the cash used to fund its operations and pay back shareholders and creditors it answers the following questions does the company mainly use equity or debt to finance so this shows whether the company is relying much on equity or it is also using debt or whether it is also only using debt so it shows the bifurcation of raising the company's cash second is how much dividend the company is paying so how much the investors are receiving dividends and payouts from the company thirdly does the company issue equity or debt regularly it is also showing how the company is raising funds also how frequently the company is raising funds so finally you can measure the net change in the cash during the peer, uh, during the period by adding all these items and arrive at a final number which is for that period whether the company has generated cash from business and overall cash position of the company you can calculate this by adding up all cash flows so that's it this completes our this episode i hope you can uh, take out many interesting uh, uh, learnings from this Thank you for watching Market Ka Gyan. Stay tuned for our next episode, same day, same time. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.